Okay, the purpose of this short tutorial is just to show you how to um, use batch processing in Canon's DPP Professional. Um, what I'm going to do is take these eight images, they're all pretty similar in um, with regards to lighting and colour balance, that kind of thing, and I'm going to process one and then apply that setting to all of the other images, and I'm also going to convert them all to JPEG and resize and rename them, all using batch processing. So if we take the first image up here, that I'm going to use as a benchmark, I'm just going to quickly process it kind of as I would normally to get it ready to go into Photoshop for processing. Uh, let's just do a few minor adjustments here just so you can see some differences. The sharpness, saturation, a bit too much. Just to get it ready to do some more work in Photoshop, but I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to check the sharpness by going into 100%. I'm always amazed that uh, when I'm photographing weddings, especially through a veil, that the camera manages to focus on the eye and not the and not the actual veil itself. I'm pretty happy with that as a benchmark for the rest of the photos. So if I come out of there, now you can see there's a bit of difference there between the rest of the images. So I now want to apply this recipe to the rest of the photos. Two ways of doing it. I can right click on the image, copy the recipe that I've just made to the clipboard and then hold down control and select the other seven images so they're all selected and then simply right click again bring up the menu paste the recipe to selected images it will ask me if I really want to do that if I say yes you can see it's now pasted that to all the other images and they're all basically the same settings as the first one that I did there's a second way of doing it if you go into edit save recipe in the file you can actually save the recipe for future use so it means you don't have to permanently alter all the, the uh, raw files you can revert them back to normal but keep the recipe for future use if you ever wanted to go back and, and reprocess them um, but I'm not going to do that now so really we've got all the photos ready to process ready to resize and rename but just before I do that I want to point out one thing and one reason I'm not always keen on batch processing it's this image here standing out to me as slightly overexposed slightly overcooked compared to the others so what I'm going to do is quickly adjust that one down so it blends in more with the others you can see now it's, it's a lot better but that's one reason if you batch process many many images there's always going to be a few that aren't quite right which is one reason I don't always do batch processing okay so they're all ready to go into Photoshop so now we need to select them all control A will select all the photos and then if we go into file batch process or control B it brings up this new um, uh, settings folder here settings file and it's selected all the eight images that I want to process. Now I've already created a folder here called JPEG where I know that they're going to all get sent to. So if I select that as the output folder, um, then we've got the output resolution, keep it as 300. Um, we can resize them as we go. So if we tick the resize box, and I'm just going to set the height at 600, which is okay for, for web use. And that will automatically change all of the photos and give them a height of 600 and a width of 400. Um, secondly, I've already added it in here, but you can call the file anything you want. Rather than keeping the, the original name that the camera gives the file, uh, you can change each one. I'm calling these Wedding Spain and starting with a sequence number with 01. So that's basically it. It's going to output all the photos for web use, size, um, without touching the original RAW. And it's also going to give them a new name. So if I press execute and set that running, that'll set them all sending off to the file I've already created. That's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video while that does and come back in a sec. Okay, they're just about done now. Once it's sent them through, I'd just like to go into the folder where I've sent them um, and make sure that they're, they're all actually as they should be. So if I go into the JPEG folder, you can see here all the images are there. They've all been given their reference numbers if I sort these by name. Wedding Spain 1, Wedding Spain 2, etc., through to 8, and it's resized them all to 600 by 400. So that's just one example to show you a way of batch processing images. Um, there we've actually processed them, resized, and renamed all in one go. Obviously, the more photos you have, the better it is, um, but that's just one quick way of, of showing you how to batch process. For those of you who don't have Canon's DPP or if you use Nikon or Olympus software, I'm going to show you how to rename and resize images using. Um, another program called ACDC Pro.